Hi Jeremy, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson uh, this evening. So I was very impressed here. If we look at your swing on the left, sorry about the lighting, we're just in the shadows. Backswing's no different to normal, which is good after a big layoff. The only thing I would say, it's just getting a tiny bit short. I'd like to see it a little bit longer. Uh, and that's going to give you a little bit more time. So either you can think about swinging longer in the swing or feel like you have a little pause of transition. Once you've got that length for the pause, I really want you to start thinking about them hips opening up as fast as you can because if we come back down to impact, we'll see the club face and shaft lines are terrific. Cuts back through that right forearm, comes into the ball from the inside, everything I'm asking you to do. But if we look at back, that's impact, that looks like your address position. You know, you don't, there's no clearance there of the lower half, can't really see anything. If we look at this guy here on the right, look how different he looks there. He looks much more athletic. You can see he's off his right foot. We can see a bit of his left leg there. His chest is closed because he's striking it and compressing it. So I want to see the hips work a little bit harder. And then the next thing par past the ball is your hands. If we look at them hands there, they always want to drag left just that little bit too quick. So at that stage up here, we can see, can't see your hands. If we look at this guy on the right, look how long we can see his hands for. They're traveling that little bit more down the right. Now, don't cheat and separate. So what I mean by that is you're not allowed to let your left armpit leave your body, which is what you tend to do, and then block them to that way. Um, we've got to keep the left arm attached and feel like the club head travels down the line. I've sent you two, um, two videos on your WhatsApp. But we want to get that club head travelling down the line for as long as possible. And then it cuts out a little bit higher through the body uh, as opposed to yours. You can see yours is a little bit lower there in a different angle to this uh, chaps here. So pulls or long, longer swing, either one. Turn the hips as far as you can so you can give it a rip. And let's get that club head travelling down the line for a bit longer. And that's in everything. Seven iron driver, chipping, pitching, everything. That club head must not overtake your hands throughout the shop. Thank you.